guys, this is Fury91, and I'm talking about the developers behind Fortnite because the FTC has um, ordered Epic Games to pay $245 million to settle claims that Epic used dark patterns to trick players into making unwanted purchases and let children rack up unauthorized charges without any parental, parental involvement. So, what are dark patterns? Well, I looked on Wikipedia, and I'm not going to give the whole definition, but basically it seems like tactics that are built to make people spend more now let's be, let's be honest most people use that they do they'd be like hey spend 10 more dollars you save this much more or you get this much more you know and i don't think that's dark patterns i think it probably is where i i mean i don't know i, I honestly don't know because they're not being too specific here but i would imagine if it's like you know how like how um when you download something sometimes it says like subscribe to our newsletter or something like that or also download this and the and the box is already checked. And so sometimes you may just say yes without even basically knowing because you didn't check you didn't check if there was a box and you didn't uncheck the box. But that's different because those are usually free add-ons or downloads or whatever, right? Things that you don't have to pay for at least not to download them. But imagine if, and I'm not saying this is what they did, I'm just saying imagine if they like let's say you're making a purchase of whatever you purchase because i don't really know what you purchase much of in fortnite let's say you're purchasing a shirt i don't know if they do but let's just say you're purchasing a shirt for your character and like underneath it said matching pants just an extra five bucks it was already checked like you know checked and you have to uncheck it if you don't want it but many people may just forget or like not read that and just press buy or something and then they, they end up spending an extra five dollars now i'm not saying this is what they did because i don't actually know what they did but i would imagine that would be a dark pattern like because for a lot of people just absentmindedly spend the extra five dollars without even knowing it so they, they they have to send 245 million dollars in refunds apparently and apparently you can contact if you believe you're one of the people that is owed a refund for, for this but here's the thing, well, guys, I understand, and it is true that tactics, like, people use tactics, people use upsell, you know, they're like, oh, buy this and you save 30% on the whole purchase, something like that, you know, but you gotta know where at least that line is. You can't get out of control. You can't get it with, especially with kids. I remember with uh, Neopets, I don't know if you guys remember Neopets, that was my, that was in um, more my childhood era. I remember if you were under, I think, 14, I don't know why, or 13 or something like that, you would have to have your parents' permission, I think, even to play the game. So that's all I think. I think they need, like, um, if you're under a certain amount, you need your parents' permission before purchasing anything. Like, the parents would have to do something. I don't know. I don't know. I don't, I don't know exactly, but the parents would have to do something, like, to prove that they're giving you permission to purchase things. But... It, to me, this is a good thing that they're actually being forced to refund it because it really just, it, yeah, it, it has gotten out of control in a way, especially with kids. But, but what do you guys think about this? Let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching. Remember to like, share, and subscribe, and may God bless you all.